Good morning, everyone. Good to see you again today. I uh, hope your week's going good. Um, this morning, I want to share a couple verses out of Hebrews chapter 10. Um, the writer of Hebrews says, Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering. For he who promised is faithful. And let us consider one another in order to stir up love and good works. I mean, this is an awesome passage of Scripture. And, and it really kind of drives home something that's really profound that we don't want to miss. And what he's saying here is God's promises are absolutely reliable in every way. And his central promise to us as believers is the assurance of our salvation. And we have that assurance not based on our own merit or not based by what we do, the assurance of, the, of our salvation is that the, we have the seal of the Holy Spirit on our life. And that's an encouraging thing because during these times, we have the Spirit of God with us everywhere we go, every day, through everything that we experience. And in the middle of this pandemic, and in, in the middle of uncertainty, uh, should we go, should we not go, should we... Uh, stay sequestered uh, should we get out the comforting thing is is that God is with us through all of this and the fruit of the spirit begins to come out of our life which is love, joy, peace, patience kindness, goodness gentleness, meekness self-control uh, those things and that's what he's saying here he says let us consider one another in order to stir up love and good works let me just challenge you during this time uh, to, to allow the Spirit of God to do the work in you that He desires to do. Let Him stir up the works of love in your life. Reach out to people. Connect with people. You know, technology is a wonderful thing. A lot of people have smartphones. I mean, it's one thing to have a conversation on the phone. It's another time to FaceTime because you get to see their face. So let me just encourage you to reach out to one another, to love one another, and uh, to allow the Spirit of God to take control of your life. Let's pray. Father, we're thankful for the Holy Spirit that he's with us every day of our life and that regardless of what goes on around us, Lord, that you're there with us right in the midst of it. And for that, we're encouraged. In Jesus' name, amen.